Wow, that's definitely some type of bone. Huge ammonite in the water. Looks like it's attached to the mud. Right here, we've got our first ammonite. Beautiful detail on both sides. That is definitely a poisonous snake. Ammonite Creek is drying up. Isn't that weird? What this could be? Welcome back to another adventure. It's always great to see all of you back at the channel. I am the Diamond Miner or Diamond Miner Ivans, as some of you may remember me as. I am back at Ammonite Creek for another adventure. My last trip here, I found a new discovery a fossilized worm. That's about the only explanation I can think of. It's a three foot long, yeah, like that big around, maybe bigger. And it's like three foot long worm fossilized. I have found fossilized fish, fossilized worms, massive ammonites, dinosaur bones, giant arrowheads that are a foot long. Well, apparently giant creatures and things once roamed the earth. If you'd like to see more videos of me out here at Ammonite Creek, be sure and leave a thumbs up. And thanks to all my Patreons. Once we have a total of 40 Patreons, I will give away a Arkansas Diamond. I will announce all the winners to YouTube, Patreons, on my Facebook page. So if you're not following me on Facebook, be sure and go check out my Facebook page. Now that we have all that out of the way, let's get down to the creek and start finding some fossils. I'm going to park the wagon right here at my backpack. Right now we're going to do a little surface hunting. I'm going to go past where we normally stop at, right here at this first dammed up spot. Go through the woods. Something telling me to go that way, so that's where I'm going to go. I'm going to trust my gut. We will find something amazing. This is bad. Normally water is flowing over those rocks all year long. And right now, the water has stopped running. It's not good that we are dealing with such low water levels all across America, to be honest. It's not just California. Texas is not doing so well. Ammonite Creek is drying up. Well, it looks like somebody's been out here. Here's that small ammonite. Like somebody ripped off the imprint and let the ammonite and they broke it because they don't know what they're doing. Probably don't even have a uh, screwdriver to work this out. But we're going to hop across this gravel bar and try to get up into the woods that channel that i've walked down many times this is where i have found my bigger ammonites sure enough there's an ammonite right here in this big rock right there some minnows Ooh. There's an ammonite in the water. And I can tell that it's definitely broken. There's no telling what's in the water. Oh my gosh. Right there is a massive ammonite. I don't know if it's complete. Nope. It's broken. Would have been a huge one. We did have an ammonite over here that had a red iron stain to it. It's right here. Really neat ammonite. Too bad it's not in the best condition. That's a really neat piece right there. Wow, check this out. Man, I think it's like rounded. Huh. 
Now the spot that I want to go to is right through here, right through that water, and I have to go into this channel, but man, it's so grown up. Let's see if we can get over here. Well, I guess we can. Pretty shallow waters. Oh yeah, we can walk right through this. Wow, it's been a long time since we've been over here. Six months. Ought to find something good. A little grown up. <clears throat> like really, really grown up. Wow, I can't believe how much all of this has tumbled and changed. Should be seeing some good ammonites and no telling what else. But all of this right here has been tumbled and looks totally different. Oh, there's a piece of one. Good detail. Yep, a heart-shaped rock, kind of. Yeah, I've seen better. Almost to the water. Definitely find some ammonites out there. Not seeing a whole lot through this channel. Lots of gravel. Golly. Man, look at this. Has to be something... Oh, there's a big snake. Look at that big boy. It looks to be poisonous. Looks like a water moth skin. He's just coming out of nowhere. Yep, that is definitely a poisonous snake. About a two and a half footer. Oh, he sees me. He's a big one. The head has a spade shape. So the snakes are out. Looks like he's going to be going to his house. Watch out for those. I don't see too many snakes out here, but I just saw the biggest one ever. All right, made it to the spot that I was trying to get to. Saw a huge snake. I don't see too many snakes out here, but that was definitely the biggest snake. And it looked to me as a water moth skin. But that snake wasn't hurting me, and I'm not gonna hurt him. Okay, let's see if we can find something. Came all this way. Can't let a little snake scare me. Oh, there's a big chunk right here. Yeah, I just gotta move slow. Ah, just a big chunk. Check out this dinosaur bone. Wow, that's definitely some type of bone. Nice imprint. And here's the spot that I find lots of ammonites. Really dried up. Pieces of ammonites everywhere. I'm trying to find that full, complete ammonite so I can give it away to one of you lucky subscribers that leaves a comment on this video. Oh, that's cool. That's real cool. Oh, that's really cool. 
huge ammonite in the water right there. Looks like it's attached to the mud. That's definitely a complete ammonite. Just pieces everywhere. Don't see a complete ammonite on the surface. a big piece of one right there in the water and right here we've got our first ammonite oh my gosh yeah beautiful detail on both sides i'm going to give this ammonite away to one lucky subscriber that leaves a comment walked right past that one just sitting there And one of you will win this. Like there's one in there. Oh, well, looks like there's one in the water. Yep, right there. be complete oh yes beautiful detail looks like another giveaway if you'd like to have ammonite number four or five whichever one this is leave a comment below you might win it Right now I'm just searching along this cliff and there's a good chance of seeing fossils. We've got large pieces of gravel popping out of here. Not just that real small stuff. You come down here to this layer, it's got larger chunks, which to me is a pretty good indicator. Oh. Looks like there's something right here, maybe. Right there. Looks like an ammonite. Oh, there's another one. Check out the detail. There's two ammonites just right there. So many rocks. Oh, right here on the ground, by my feet. What do we have? Oh my God, look at that one. Dang, wow. Now this one's a pretty good size ammonite. This will more likely be going to one of my Patreon supporters, Element and Gemstone collectors. Yep, I have to throw that in one of their monthly packages. Wow, thing's heavy. That chunk of mud attached to it. What else we got in this stuff? Spiders. Oh, 
all types of fossils. Oh, here's something up here. What do we have up here? Oh yeah, it's an ammonite. A fossil of some type. Get in there past all these roots. What does it look like up there, guys? Does it look like it's gonna be an ammonite? I can't quite see it. way to find out oh my gosh it's broken it's broken it's the broken ammonite that's the way they go sometimes especially crammed up in this layer this is almost like from a flood and it's been repacked so a good chance it'll be broken I can't believe how many small ammonites I found at this spot we're doing pretty good today. Let's keep it up. Let's check out this ammonite that we found in the water. It's attached to the mud. Definitely pretty loose. Oh my gosh, it's huge, but it's just stuck to all that mud. Ah, making it very heavy. To where I'll have to leave it right there. Can't fit that one in the backpack. It's either I take that one or take all these smaller ones. Let me know what I should do. Oh man, Look how small that one was. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. I'll find a really small, complete ammonite. That'll be so cool to find a really small ammonite. I mean, I just don't, those are hard to find out here. Well, here's something I don't see every day at Ammonite Creek. We have a spoon and this could be silver. Stainless. Man, I'm telling you, you got to be at the right angle to find stuff. <laughs> Being diamonds, fossils, arrowheads, if you're not at the right angle, you're going to miss it. Kind of like this big ammonite. Oh my gosh. Dang it. It's got mud attached to it. Mud on both sides, but it's really big. Too big for me. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up over here. Time to head back through the snake pit and look out for snakes. Now not too far into the snake pit. And I've noticed this, which is really odd. Isn't that weird? Look what this could be. Oh my gosh. That's definitely some type of fossil. That's like a shell or something. If you know what this could be, please leave a comment. That may be something for the museum. Huh. Very strange. Did I find a new type of ammonite? Let me know in the comments what you think of this. Alright, so we were just on the other side of that water pool. Back at the main spot. I'm going to walk this gravel bar. I see something in the water. It doesn't appear to be a full one. Nope. It's just a piece of one. It is very hot out. It is now July 
2nd. Oh wait, today's July 3rd. Very hot. Very, very hot. It looks like we have this one here. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at these. Oh my gosh, look at all this, guys. This is something new. Check it out, here's one. These are all fossils. They look like they're the sand dollars. Yep, right there. I have found the fossilized sand dollars. And these are a different name. I can't think of the name. Yeah, that's what all this is. Look at that one. I want to work on hammer drilling some of these up like this one. This one is well preserved. Look at that. Just all this whole area. Just I see them everywhere. This is so cool. I've been looking for a spot like this for quite a while. And I was going to show you this ammonite right here from my last trip. I never got to remove it. It appears to be complete. There's the start of it, and it looks like it turns all the way, and you can see it right there. Awesome. So we'll work on getting this one up. Oh, looks like there's another sand dollar right here. It is. Oh my gosh, look at that. Fossilized sand dollar all over this area. Man, I've got some work to do. I just can't wait to see this. That's going to be so cool to see. And here's another one. Check that out. So cool. Looks like they're all along this whole stretch right here. Sweet. I'll grab my backpack over here and we'll get to work. And see what's going to happen here. That's are coming up pretty easy. There's this one here. It's all smashed from all the pressure and all this weight from the great floods and all the mud covering it all up. But this one over here, there you go. This one over here. There we go. Oh wow, check this one out. It's like an egg. Really cool. There's one way over here. I'll just remove some of these and we'll take a look at them. They're all the way up over here, even. Man, pretty cool stuff. Just most of them are all broken and flattened out. Okay, well we removed some of these type of fossilized sand dollars. Let's move over to that ammonite. And there's the ammonite waiting to be removed. And this did have a crack in it before I started. It's broken free. Oh, there we go. Be a good fossil to prep. But that crack's not too bad, and it is all the way through it. Massive ammonite. Ooh, there's some type of bone right here. Some other type of fossil, or maybe that is the ammonite. The creature inside right there.
let's take a look at everything that I found on that short trip. Incredible ammonites like this one here. All these are giveaways. And then of course, this ammonite that was in the water. Really cool. And then we have these amazing fossils right here. Type of sand dollar. Really cool. And then here's this thing. Very weird. It's almost like a fossilized titty. Did I find a fossilized breast implant? But you can see right here, it makes a pattern like an ammonite. This is definitely some type of fossil. Yep, it's a fossilized titty. All right, there's everything that I found. Leave a comment if you would like to win some of this stuff. That's going to wrap it up here at Ammonite Creek. We found some amazing fossils this trip. Fossils that I've never seen before. And it's just a matter of time I come out here, I'm gonna find something that nobody has ever seen. If it wasn't for all my Patreons and all my YouTube supporters, I wouldn't be able to make videos. So all the support helps. All Patreons support goes to making videos, traveling and making new videos. So without that support, it's really hard to get out here and do this type of stuff. Don't forget to leave a comment in this video and you're entered to win on these giveaways. And if you'd like to see the winners be announced, you'll need to go over to my Facebook page. I'll leave a link in the description below. Click on that little tab, descriptions. You can see all my links, all the equipment I use. You can click on that and get your own equipment that I like to use to find fossils. So once again, go to my Facebook page. That's where I'm going to be announcing a lot of my winners for YouTube, Patreons. We're gonna still have giveaways for Patreons. I may not be able to post it over on Patreon, but that doesn't mean I can't give to my supporters. And I'm going to keep on giving to my supporters because thanks to all of you, I'm able to do this. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to do this. Once again, thank you all so much for the support. Until next time, take care everybody. Just letting everybody know that I changed my shirt. It's already getting hot. Oh, there's a big snake. Look at that big boy. About a two and a half footer. Oh, he sees me. There's a big one.